Hi, I'm Judith Green. I live in Romsey in an end terrace house off Mill Road. It's a solid brick wall house like most of the terrace houses around here. And I live here with my um, two children and my husband. So I moved in la back in last year having had a big renovation of the house where we did lots and lots of insulation everywhere and we built a kitchen extension at the same time. So for the, ex for the kitchen extension we decided to have um, a conventional block and brick cavity wall insulation. So that's how the insulation is done in this bit. Um, we were able to reuse the bricks from the demolition of our old kitchen. Okay, so on the back of the house what we had is some external wall insulation and this is a piece but it shows you what that external wall insulation is made of. Quite a high density PUR insulation and then they spray on this render which has got all these polystyrene type beads in it so that gives an extra um, insulating layer. So we were able to do that on the back of the house just because we had the space to do it and it wasn't affecting the look of the house. Obviously this part of Romsey and Petersfield are now conservation areas so it's difficult to get to do external wall insulation on the front of your house. So in the rest of the house we used internal insulation um, at the front and at, along the side passage with an end terrace. This wall is just conventional PUR type insulation. For coming around the chimney breast to avoid cold bridging we wanted to put insulation around it but the Celotex is quite thick, it's about so thick and we didn't want the chimney breast to just totally dominate the room so we used a, a much thinner for, form of insulation called Aerogel and it's much thinner but it's much more expensive. Okay, so I think this piece is about £70 for about a square metre of this and the stuff that we used on this wall is about £10 for a square metre. So we only use this very, very sparingly. So with the insulation we were able to halve our gas use but part of that is also that we use a wood burning stove just in the autumn and spring so that we don't have to turn the central heating on. We've got some solar panels on the roof and they go into our meter and this little box is recording what we're, cons what we're producing with the panels, what we're consuming from the grid um, and at the moment it's telling us that we're actually exporting 610 watts. So we made £348 on our PV solar from the feed-in tariff last year, um, but we, that doesn't include the savings we made by using our own solar energy, so we weren't ex importing from the grid to run our appliances um, in the middle of the day. We wanted to have lots of natural light, so we put in this glass wall on the stairs and then put in a sun pipe on the landing above it. And if you look, you can see that it's almost like having a light on, but it's just the sun. Mostly we reused our old carpets upstairs, but where we needed a new carpet, we got one which is um, wool from sheep in Cumbria, and so it's really low carbon, nothing's been done to it, undyed. Um, and then in our living room, we got reclaimed beams that were cut into planks and used for the floor here. And in our kitchen, we use cork. It's another sustainable material. Um, in the bathroom, we've got a natural rubber floor, and we've got heat recovery ventilation. And it just means that you're getting rid of the moisture from the air, but without you, without losing the heat in the in that moist air, comes back into the room. Our shower head is a Pulse Eco shower head, and it just uses a bit less water, so you're heating less. The garden is pretty much all edible plants so the idea really is to try and have a pretty garden that's also giving us some produce and then at the back we've just got a useful space for storing our wood for um, having being able to hang up washing even when it's raining because we've got this corrugated plastic above we've got a place to store our bikes and the bins so after we've done the renovation, 
it, it looked really good and I just wanted to get Cambridge Carbon Footprint to come back and do some thermal imaging that this stone step that runs under the door is acts as a cold bridge just bringing cold into the house it's just an old fashioned solution draft excluder but by covering up that stone step it's also operating as a kind of insulation so one thing about the house is I'm really proud of it I'm really proud that we've cut our carbon emissions you know, that the house is responsible for that we were able to use so many recycled or sustainable materials and just the result of it is a really I think it, it looks great and it's a really nice house to live in. Mm -hmm.